First of all, I want to give a gigantic thank you to photographer Steven Klaus for participating in this video. Check him out over on Instagram, at This Normal Life. He's an amazing photographer, so be sure to show him some love over there on the gram. Full disclosure, Wotencraft reached out to me asked me if I'd be interested in checking out their products. First thing I will say is that this is premium Italian leather. Now I know a lot of people aren't gonna be into that. I know like going vegan is really popular. Me, however, something about the smell of real leather just takes me back to my childhood. It's a lovely nostalgic memory for me. I grew up with my entire family riding Harleys. My mom owned three Harleys. I used to ride on the gas tank when I was a little kid and I went out to Sturgis with my whole family in the year 2000 back in high school, dating myself there a little bit. But some of you know that my mother passed away when I was in my early 20s. So having the smell of leather here in the shop, I just kind of love it because just this bag alone fills this whole little studio with the smell of leather. I don't know, it just takes me back to a better time, I guess, and, and I love that. But I know some of you may not be into, like, leather because of your own beliefs and things, which is fine, but do know if you check out the Wotencraft website, they do offer it in different materials as well. What I think is the biggest pro of the bag being real leather with the natural oils is that over time, the more I use this thing, it's going to develop a natural patina over time. You know, it's kind of like a horse saddle or like saddle bag. It's gonna uh, develop its own form of character and have some unique characteristics. It's, it's just gonna look a lot more rugged, more worn, and to me it just looks cooler. So that's something to look forward to with a premium all leather bag like this. So the strap is really awesome. It's really nice and soft. The fact that they have these button enclosures and you can slide this shoulder pad wherever you like it. But the best part about the strap is it has this really handy little uh, loop, which you can, you know, hang a carabiner or something on. But really what it's for is to pop this open quickly and then you can just slide and adjust the length of your shoulder strap any way you like. I love that. It doesn't ever come loose. You know, I'm sitting here pulling on it pretty good and it's not letting go. So it has a really nice clamp and I love that because, you know, I wish more camera straps were made like that. Also, what's kind of nice, what kind of appeals to me like being more on the luxury end is they also have this like carry handle. You know, sometimes you just want to carry it like a normal bag. Um, so that's kind of interesting too. Over here on the side, you'll notice you have this little Cordura little ringlet. So they do make a little accessory pouch that you can purchase as an additional option to kind of hang off there to like hold coins or keys or something, maybe filters. But this is nice just to, you know, have your own carabiner holding whatever there. That's kind of interesting. This whole zipper pouch is the whole height of the bag. I guess I should mention that this is the three and a half liter option. So it is quite tall, quite big, but what's cool about it is I took this on a location scout and I threw in here my Sony RX1 R2 and two Leica M mount lenses, both the 21 mil and the 90 mil. And then on top, I had my Leica M8 with the 40 mil Summicron. So that's two camera bodies, granted two compact camera bodies, and two extra lenses for the Leica. So that's quite a bit in this bag. And then on top of that, on this back zipper pouch, I had my GoPro 10 in here. <laughs> and then also when you open this up, there's another zipper pouch right here. So in here is where I put like my batteries and stuff. But something that I do want to point out, so the Velcro is really tough on this, <laughs> as you can tell. I don't know if that's because it's so new, but you get this little module with it. And this is kind of cool. You can put SD cards in here, cables, batteries, filters, whatever. Really hardcore Velcro on the back of it. And this just Velcros directly into the inside. So I think that's kind of a nifty little thing. You know, this isn't anything new, like a little accessory holder module. But what is kind of interesting to me is the hardcore Velcro on the back. So, you know, you can just stick this in the inside wall of the camera bag and it's never going to fall out or come loose. I thought that was kind of cool. They do give you this kind of interesting divider that you can kind of really form any way you like. But I like the idea of using it as a pocket and then the little shelf just flipping it over on top and it's sturdy enough to hold the M8. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, now let's talk about something kind of unique to the Wotencraft bags is these anti-theft clamps. They are magnetic and I think they call these fidget locks or something. The funny thing is these are completely childproof, like theft-proof childproof. When I first got this, I've never seen a clamp that works like this. So it took me like a few minutes to figure out how to open this bag because it looks like it's a normal clamp that you would like hold on the side and pull open, but that's not really how it works. As you'll notice, like I can't open it, right? And you'll see in this B-roll, I was messing with it in this top down, like trying to open it. It took me a minute to realize like, oh, it's just a slide. You just slide it out. But what's cool about that is, you know, most 
thieves are also not going to be familiar with this kind of lock or clamp, I guess I should say, clip, whatever you want to call it. So they're going to be doing the same thing that I was doing, right? Like holding down the side, being like, what the hell? This is broken. You, and then you see this thing. This looks like a button that maybe you push in. No, nope, no, nope, you just push it out. So I find that kind of interesting, you know, because a lot of times we'll go to coffee shops or something. We'll leave our bag on the table and then we'll walk away. Maybe some thieves are really sleek and they don't want to like swipe the whole bag, especially if you're like on an airplane or something. Sometimes what people like to do is just open your bag and steal what's inside and then close it back up. That's a big thing that they do in airports. So the fact like this thing is like, they'll be like, what the hell? You know, another feature we should point out is how the strap attaches to the bag. It's a really nifty kind of um, clamp system as well. I can tell there's a lot of thought put into these Woten Craft bags and I appreciate the details like that. You guys know I'm always like highlighting small details here on the channel because to me that shows that a company took time and, and just really have a lot of care for their products that they make. This isn't like a normal like, oh, it just clips on, you know, this is a very like tension based, but when it's on, it's on there, you know, so you don't have to worry about your strap coming loose. Okay, so they also sent out these paracord leather camera straps and wrist strap. They're all embossed. All their products are embossed with their Wotencraft logo. By the way, this company is from Taiwan, so uh, th that may be an issue for some of you ordering depending on where you're at, but it was no problem getting it here quickly from, you know, from there to the US here in LA. These are just kind of interesting little wrist straps. You know, they're all leather. They're really nice and smooth on the inside. I appreciate that. I have very sensitive skin. So knowing that, you know, the outside is kind of rough and rugged, like normal leather, but the inside is nice and smooth. I really, really, really appreciate that. I'm a bigger fan of the camera strap. So it's kind of the same thing as you'll see, it's like paracord, but then the leather again, really nice and smooth on the inside. It's not gonna irritate my skin, um, but then it goes to like this paracord thing. And the way this works is you could easily adjust this to any height you want because this is just paracord. So you could easily like pull these up and then snip it off and you know bring it up here if you want to do kind of like the Wes Anderson thing. I think out of the box, it's not a bad length. You know, I, I, I don't mind this, you know. Uh, this is a little lower than where I usually like my cameras to live. Like I usually like them about right there. But you could pull this all the way out and then clip these off, retie it. So it wouldn't be hard for me to resize this thing. And you could do this same with the strap. It's kind of an interesting design, this kind of like paracord. I'm not opposed to it. It hasn't like really taken me. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of indifferent towards it, to be quite honest. But it's an interesting design. Uh, I'll, I'll give them that. But the real reality is, you know, I think the focus of, of the review is the bag itself. And I do think it's a high-end premium kind of luxury camera bag. And the only reason why I really say that is because all of the attention to detail, all the nice little kind of features that it has, and the fact that it is real Italian leather with the natural oils. Again, you're gonna get that natural patina over time. I love that. So if you are interested in any of the Woten Craft stuff, as always, there's links down below. Shout out to the Dog Times Patreon. We got a lot of cool stuff going over there. We just broke down the Cardenas tequila commercial that I shot on the Laua Nanomorphs in the Red Komodo. So if you're interested in like cinematography breakdowns, pre-production stuff, post-production stuff, or also my blogs are available for free all over there at patreon.com slash justinphillip. Thank you for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You buy a purse. I don't want a purse. Purses are for girls. Oh, wait. That's not necessarily true. Okay. Do you read GQ? No. Okay, I do. They're like mini briefcases, right? Lots of guys have them. <laughs>